Hey all, I know it's been forever. Did you miss me? I have good news. I have 98 subscribers. Hello. And I haven't posted in like over a week. So, I mean, that's kind of a big deal. I only need 902 more to reach a thousand and become a millionaire. Yes. Yes. I'm so close. Anyways, I know what you're thinking. Wow. What an amazing hat. Where can I get one? Unfortunately, you can't because I made it. Um, the reason I'm posting is because first I want to brag about my hat and how versatile it is. I'm going to show you. It's not only a hat, okay, but it's also a headband, okay? How fabulous is this? Okay, amazing. I'm not going to put the hat back on because it was like kind of too dark. So uh, I wanted to tell you guys a funny story about this hat. We were invited to uh, the Golden Cup, which is kind of like a mini derby thing, I guess. I don't know. Uh, by one of the oral surgery groups my uh, husband works with. And uh, there was a hat competition. I'm like, yes, I could do a wacky hat, right? So I had this idea. I had it all planned out. I had like only like four or five days notice. And it was on Saturday and I'm like, Friday night, I'm like, oh my God, I have to make a hat. I think it took me like two to three hours to make this. Not like straight, I was watching TV and stuff like that, but I was like, oh my God, I gotta finish, I gotta finish. I mean, I know it's fabulous, this hat, but like it, I could have made it a little better, like used a sewing machine, but all I used was a little glue and some staples because honestly, I don't sew, so. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, anyways. So um, we were invited, made the hat. Uh, we show up and we get really close to like the oral surgery group. And we notice that like, like maybe 10 people are wearing hats and they're like really, you know, floral and fancy. So my husband's like, Sally, take off the hat. I'm like, uh -uh, I ain't taking off this hat. I worked hours last night to make it. I'm walking around like this. So basically, everyone's like all fancy looking. I was wearing a dress though, okay? I was wearing a dress, all right? I was fancy too, from like the neck down, okay? So I was like, hey, this is part of the competition that I didn't even sign up for. But, you know, we were semi-late, so... Um, the point is, I was walking around with eyeballs on my head uh, for most of the day and having like really intellectual conversations with like, um, you know, oral surgeons and doctors. But, you know, that didn't stop me. I was just talking to my daughter and she was saying how like I really don't care about what other people think. And she said she wishes she was like that. And it's a great trait to have. My daughter's more reserved like my husband. Um, so needless to say, when we were at this get together, I was not embarrassed in the least bit, but I'm pretty sure my husband was, but you know, it's all good. Um, so I also wanted to tell you how to make this hat in case you guys have a party or whatever and you wanna do this, it's really fun. You know, it's like just so cute. Even if you wanna just do a little headband. This is how I have my mailbox decorated, by the way. Um, I have this material, the eyeballs, and, and even the headband on the mailbox. And then the mouth is like, when you open the mailbox, it's like, Mah. you know, it's really cute. So um, all you need is like a, a headband. It could be a plain one or just one without like any bumps or anything like that. These are just those balls that the little playpen things, you know, those playpen ball thingies, whatever, just little balls. You could use wiffle balls too, I guess, as long as you have the hold part, the whole part. You know, some wiffle balls don't have holes, I think. I don't know. But you just got to put a little... You could do googly eyes. I bought these eyeballs from Amazon. I just googled, like, uh, baby boo eyes. Not baby, beanie boo, baby. Beanie boos, beanie boo. Beanie boo eyes. That's what I googled. Beanie boo eyes. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, my daughter always says I look like a beanie boo. So the beanie boo eyes. Look, if you look close... Don't look at my pores, but you see, it's got like a glittery thing. It's really cute. So anyways, all you need is the balls, the eyeballs. You could use the regular googly eyes, some glue, 
And if you're a hijabi, Muslim, a little extra material to cover your head. Hello, hello, versatile. You could even take off the eyeballs and still look amazing. Look, I look like a Muslim mermaid <laughs> or like a pirate, whatever, it's all good. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you watch this entire video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I mean, come on, just subscribe for the love of God. I have a ton of ridiculous stories that will kill a lot of brain cells, but it's like, live a little, you know? All right, I'm done. But I do have to say one more thing because I can't resist. <clears throat> Are you staring at my headgear? Good night.